What's going on everyone? Noah from Spain to the Sparky. Today's video is going to be the difference between the arrow method for a 90 and then the star method for a 90. Both are important. Both can be used at any time really. Uh, but you're going to more so see the star method, which is what this video is predominantly going to be about. Uh, in certain instances, a majority of the time you'll see the arrow method. Both are pretty simplistic, uh, but there's always a little confusion, especially for the guys just beginning. Also, shout out to my castrated Klein level. I cut the nose off all mine. Anyways, with that being said, the standard arrow method is going to be as, just as it sounds. So, let's write it out on my concrete. You can't really see that. But let's say I need, with the uh, arrow, I need a 10 inch 90. Our standard deduct on three quarter EMT conduit in the hand bender is going to be what? Six inches. So if I need a 10 inch 90, the standard deduct six inches, our mark would be at four inches, which I already have marked out. Bada bing, bada boom, magic. What I would do at that point, I would stick it in the bender, just like so. Hopefully you can see that, get it lined up. And then I would simply bend it like you normally see a 90 done. Now that's where things get a little different, and this is where this little star comes into play. So, with the star method, there is zero deduct. Let me say that again, zero deduct. So, in this case, let's just say we have a 29 and a half inch piece of conduit, and I say, hey Rob, that's my imaginary friend over there, just kidding. Uh, hey Rob, I need a 24 inch 90 off that piece you have there. What are you gonna do? Good question. I like talking to myself. So, I say 24 inch 90 uh, the, on the star method. So this is when this would come into play. The star method has zero deduct. There is no deduct. With that being said, the first thing we're going to do, 24 inches. We're going to mark that out. Bada bing, bada boom, look at that. I already have it marked. 24 inches off the end of the conduit. Now, what you would normally do is wherever you make your mark, you're going to face your bender, do it. But with the, or the uh, star method, instead of doing the deduct and facing it that way, we're just going to flip our bender around. So, we marked it off the end. Instead of facing it from the way our tape measure came, we're going to face it the opposite way. So, we went 24 inches from here to here. Instead of going like this, we're going to flip our pipe, or our bender. And with that being said, that's when this comes into play right here. Our star. We're lining our mark with our star. Like I said, we measured from here to here. We wanted a 24 inch 90. We're utilizing the star method on this bender due to how short this piece of conduit is. It's 29 and a half inch piece, or er, yeah, 29 and a half inch piece of conduit, a scrap piece. And I told my friend Rob, hey Rob, you need a 24 inch 90 now. So he marks it from the end of the conduit, 24 inches. I said that like seven times now. It's important though. You then flip your bender around and you're gonna utilize the star. What I like to do for my 90s, Give it a little bump in the air, and then flip. Lay on the ground and use a level. It's not that complicated. These aren't very expensive either. And then bada bing, bada boom. Also, it helps when you have a level ground. As you can see, my uh, garage is pretty uh, unlevel, which um, not my level of expertise. I just know it's not right. But you're simply going to bend it till you get level. Bada bing, bada boom. Make sure it's level. And from there, what I like to do, I'll take a straight edge, whether it's a piece of wood, a piece of conduit, in this case, my bender. We set 24 inch 90. Bada bing, bada boom. We're within a 16th of an inch, as you can see. Not exactly the brightest uh, crown in the box, but we're at uh, 23 and uh, 15 sixteenths to be exact. Within an eighth of an inch either way be perfectly fine. But that, my friends, is the difference between the arrow method, so it has a standard deduct, and the star method, no deduct. Basically, marking it out, no deduct, flipping your bender. It's as simple as that. And as you saw, I took a 29 and a half inch piece of conduit, and I now have, in theory, even though this is very short, but in theory, a 24 inch 90. Simple as that. It's a great way or a good skill set to have in your repertoire. You don't always need it, but it's one of those things that's nice to have it when you do need it. It's very beneficial. As always, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy holidays. Enjoy my castrated level. 
And as always, as Benjamin Franklin once said, you can tax that. Peace.